Hey friends, welcome back. Uh, in the last lesson, we actually create, we designed the create routine screen, which involved a large chunk of code, but we were able to complete it. Uh, in this lesson, we're going to focus on creating category records into the ESA database. And these records will be in the category collection. So first things first, in the create routine.dat file, we head over to our LAT dialog, the pop-up window, because that's the one that will allow the user to create a new category. If you remember, we have a button that allows you to add the category. It didn't have any functionality. That's what we're going to add now. Uh, we're going to come down here and create a new function that's empty called add category. And then we're going to take it and pass it in the on pressed function in the button so that most of the work, the, the logic that we're going to work on will be in that function so that we don't uh, mess up with, a, with our design of the code or put so much logic on the, on the design itself. So we call it here. So another important thing we need to do is that we want to check that this function is called only when a user inserts something, not when a user hasn't inserted anything. So we come here and say, if new cut controller dot text, dot is not empty. If it's not empty, call this function so that you can be able to handle whatever a user not entering empty data into the collection. So that's that, we're done. So now to be able to perform the, func the work that the code that we need to put on this function, we need to we require the ESA instance. If you recall, we created the ESA instance on the main.dat file and we haven't yet passed it into the project. So we need to do that. But first things first, if you notice the my app, um, uh, we can actually pass it by uh, specifying a new parameter, which we'll add in the my app constructor. So we say final ESA, ESA. And then we pass it here as a requirement. Sorry, required this dot isa. So what's happening? We we're telling uh, my app. Uh, we're setting my app to require a certain type of parameter that has a type isa class. So when we come here, we'll just pass a key value. The key isa. This one. Pass it the value. Is a uh, which is this one, all right? So that's done. So now we can be able to pass uh, the ESA instance to my app. So we also want to at least pass it to the main page so that you can pass it to the create routine where we want to do the work load. So we do the same concept, we set up the constructor of the main page, give it a type ESA and a name ESA. You can change the name according to the way you prefer. Uh, required this dot isa. And then we come here, remove const and pass isa key. And we pass the isa that's passed on my app here. Yeah. Sorry. Sorry, sorry, sorry. Things have changed. So you, no, yes, you pass it there main page, so the main page now has a parameter that it ex expects, which is an ESA type. We want to pass it now to the create routine. So we come here at the create routine, we make it as a requirement that it needs to be passed. Final ESA, it imports the package, and then we pass it here as a requirement, this.ESA. And now when you go back, you'll expect an error because it expects you to pass it. So we have a key value, ESA. Widget.ESA. So now we have passed the ESA instance from the main page to the create routine. And 
Now we have it over here. So now we can use the is instance and where we're using it is in the function that we've just created. We want to pass it here so that we can actually use it. And we're going to get an error because the main function itself does not have an argument. Let's tell it you should expect an is a type variable. And so far, so good. So this is a place where we're going to work on. What we're going to do now is that since we're adding a category, we need the category collection um, file that we actually created in some lessons back. Let's just import it to the create routine. And then we're going to go back to the function here. We want to initialize a variable called final categories, where we will call the ESA, the, co the category collection from the ESA database. Great. Then we're going to create our own dot object. If you recall, this was a dot object. So we want to create our own dot object where we will define the variables that are here. For category, remember it had only had two properties and the one property has already been handled by ESA itself. So we only have one property to define, which is a name. So we'll come here and say final new category is equals to category, the collection, the dot object. We define the name. So the name will be the text that has been inserted in the text form field, which is new cut. To do that, to get that new cut controller.txt. So now we have the text that the user has inserted and we have added it in, we have created a dot object for it. Great. Now we want to write, we want to now create the record to the category collection. To do that, uh, there's something important we have to do. There are processes that require to be to be settled first. So we have to add our await keyword. And to do that first, we have to add and set our function here as a sync. So we say await isa dot, there's a function in isa called write transaction, which will now execute the transaction that you've passed. And it go, and then you add a sync because there's another function inside this function. So in this function, we simply say the categories collection put this new category that we have created simply, that's what it simply means. All right. And then we are done. This is a function that will create our category record for us in the category collection. And for us, we want at the moment when the user has uh, entered a category and added it, we want the text form to be cleared so that they can add another category. So we just pass this clear. So we're done. Basically, that's how it is. Let's refresh our app and see. Okay, so we can come here to the screen and look at it. So we'll add over here and add something like um, enterprise, click on add. So it has gone through the process and then it has cleared. We can add something like um, category books we add, and so it has gone through this process and then cleared the field again. So we want to believe that it has um, recorded or created these uh, categories. In the next lesson, it's what we're going to now read the categories that have been added and we populate them in the drop down, um, the drop down that we have here. So that's about it. That's um, 
another short and sweet lesson. This is only a code that you need to actually create your record, which will end up also creating routines, but we have we had to start with creating the category first because the routine will require the category to for you to be able to be inserted in the collection. So let's take a short break and we'll come back with it to the next video.